What is up, guys? This is uh, Silver Warrior here, and uh, today I want to answer a question that I think is all too common now. I've heard a few people ask me, you know, or just ask in general, if we're having all these problems with the debt and everything, why can't we just keep on printing money to pay off all our debt? I mean, the U.S. is so in debt, but they can just print lots of money, right? They just print more money to pay it off. First of all, that's not quite the way it works. And now for one, you might want to know this, but 90%, I believe it is, of all money being produced is just to replace old money. They're literally just scrapping old money and throwing in new bills. So most of the money they're adding is not new anyway. It's not like they produce... It's not like most of the dollars you're getting are actually, um, you know, adding to the currency supply. They do in small amounts, but the reason for this, of course, is inflation. You know, when I first heard this question, I thought, how can you be... Like, I didn't obviously didn't say this, but I thought, how can you be such a fool? I mean, you're, this was a grown adult that had asked me this, too. And I was like, you know, how could you not know that what inflation is or anything? But I, I was realizing... It's because the government doesn't want us to know this type of stuff. I mean, I know I sound like a little bit like Alex Jones over here, but at the end of the day, they do skew things. It's been proven before, and they're not lying to us, I don't think about it, but they just don't really make it so obvious that, you know, inflation is a real thing that steals, you know, basically does steal your wealth over time. They don't make it, they don't make us aware of the fact that that's going on, which, of course, is why I've gotten into silver, because it's real tangible wealth that I can hold. So, you know, it really is simple, though. If we kept on producing money, if we produced enough money right now to pay off our debt, we would go into hyperinflation instantly. Because we would produce such an insane amount of currency that, I mean, think about that. You know, how much you'd really have to produce to pay off, you know, the debt. I mean, you'd have to produce a dollar for every debt, every dollar of debt we had. I mean, think about that. And that's going to add such a massive amount of currency to our supply that inflation would immediately spike to its ridiculous numbers. And every dollar in your pocket would be worth all of a sudden almost nothing compared to what it was worth before. Which is saying something because it was already worth like basically nothing compared to you know, just 100 years ago. So, and what inflation would do is it would, I mean, it would basically destroy the country. You know, our currency would all of a sudden be worth nothing anymore because of the fact that there would be so many dollars that... Here's the reason why, I guess, that inflation has to be accounted for. Imagine if everybody said, all right, you know what, this dollar, we're going to lock its value. We're going to produce as many dollars as we want, but we're always going to say it's worth a dollar, okay? Worth one dollar right now. Inflation's never going to exist. What was the problem with that? You see, you know what would happen is if... Let's say everything's value got locked, okay? So, you know, let's say like something like a gallon of milk. It's always going to be $3.29. So you can never change it, okay? So there you go. That's how you really lock in the value. By making everything, everything that's priced right now, price is frozen for on every good, which I believe governments have done before. And that is, I'm pretty sure that would violate the U.S. Constitution because we have, you know, free market systems where people can price their goods however they want. So I do, don't believe our government could do that constitutionally. Then again... They violated the Constitution before, so what's to stop them again, right? But if we did try to pull that off, you know what would happen is, and then we would say they froze the value on everything and then produced enough dollars to pay off our debt, okay? Well, first of all, I don't think that the countries that we owe the debt to would want to accept those dollars because that would hyperinflate their currency, you know? They're exchanging one fiat currency for another because obviously they'd have to switch the currency we gave them into their own dollars, and if they did that, they would have to produce a massive more amount of their money, which would bring more inflation to them. You know, because we're, like I said, we're giving them fiat dollars that are all of a sudden worth way less than before. So they have to exchange that accordingly. And, and if we did that, the price would have immediately changed. But let's say we did try to freeze the value of the dollar. Other countries wouldn't follow that. But let's say in our own country we did, okay? We just sort of pumping as much currency as we want. And we're like, yeah, everybody can have a million dollars. Everybody can buy whatever they want, you know? Everybody will have a million dollars. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? Except for the fact that there would be... Basically, everything would be gone. I mean, there'd be nothing on the market anymore because eventually what would happen is there'd be more value in currency that people could spend, you know, ready to spend, than there'd be value of everything being sold on the market. 
And that would be pretty bad, to say the least, because if, if right now everybody took all their money and is able to buy everything being sold right now, then that's a problem. There should be more value in other goods besides, you know, the dollar on the market. There shouldn't be, like, there's more dollars than there are goods. That's not... It's not a healthy, you know, system, and what's going to happen is eventually, let's say, you know, you have a house that's worth $150,000, but there's a hundred times as many dollars as there was when the house was truly worth 150000 then that guy who was able to buy only one of those houses can buy a hundred now. So, what makes the labor worth, you know, a hundred, or whatever, I mean, you know, what makes the house truly worth that anymore? Because the guy can own a hundred of the houses now, so... The people building it aren't going to be happy. The guy selling it isn't going to be happy. And who's going to want to sell anything anymore? Everyone's going to just fight for themselves eventually because you're going to be losing money trying to sell anything. I mean, you can't. You're going to be losing out because the dollar is going to be worth a lot less. But, of course, values are frozen, so you can't adjust the price accordingly. And no one's going to sell. It's going to truly be just no market anymore. Everyone's going to have to fight for themselves. It's going to be much worse than... Just leaving things alone. So that's why you can't just keep on printing money to pay off the debt. And I do hope you enjoyed. That is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.